Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know, the NEET exam is approaching on May 5th. Okay, so we have hardly 13 days left for your NEET exam, right? So in this video, I'll be discussing our detailed strategy, how you should use this 13 days time so that you can improve your scores. Okay, so I'm not telling that like if you focus or if you study or you'll be uh, like you'll be cracking the exam with this much scores and all. It is not like that. It is like the guidance what you should do in this time, in this last uh, 13 days so that your marks can be improved. Okay. So in this video, I'll be discussing all the high, like what are the high weightage topics for your NEET 2024. Then I'll be discussing like what exactly the strategy is there to study physical chemistry and what is the strategy to study organic chemistry and then how to study your inorganic chemistry. Okay. And then we'll be having a small weekly plan. Okay. So this is also not hard and fast tool. It is like you have to decide based on your strength, how many chapters you have completed and all based on that. So I'll give you a brief idea about all this. Okay. So let us start with this first. So in this one, in like we can say 13 days means roughly we have two weeks. Okay. So if in the first week, you have to focus on all the high weightage topic revision and you have to like, you can write around four mock tests at this point of time. Then in week two, we can focus on moderate weightage chapters. And low weightage chapters, I will not recommend if you haven't done yet. Okay, you can just focus on high weightage and moderate weightage chapters and then revision. And then in the last week, you can just write any two mock tests so that you should not write even more in the last week so that if you like don't get marks, you may be demotivated and all. So let us not go more than two mock tests. Okay, so now coming to your um, high weightage topics, low weightage topics and moderate weightage topics, see generally as the syllabus is reduced, okay, we have hardly 20 chapters for this meet. So we cannot say any chapter as low moderate, uh, low weightage topics because the number of questions per chapter is definitely going to increase, right? So that is why, but based on the previous analysis, you can, so these low weightage topics are those, which one is like you have to invest more time and the return is less, okay? Those type of chapters I have kept on low priority. So let us see first in the high priority chapter, the first one is your periodicity. As you know, S block is deleted, P block half is deleted. So mostly questions will be there from your periodicity. And then we have chemical bonding. This is very important topic. Uh, like you have to practice number of questions from this topic. And then GOC, very important. We then have hydrocarbons from your first P, uh, like first board. Then electrochemistry, coordination compounds, right? Then you have alcohols, phenols, ethers, and aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acid. Aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid is a very high weightage topic everywhere like tons of questions are asked from this particular chapter. So revise it thoroughly all reactions, all uh, preparation methods, all name reactions, all reagents should be revised properly. Now coming to medium weightage topic. So in this high priority chapters you can expect three to four questions. Okay, it can like since the number of uh, chapters are less questions can increase. So it, you can like four to five, like three, four, five questions you can expect from these topics. Okay. Now coming to uh, medium priority, it is like an average of two to three questions. You can again expect from here. Mole concept is a very uh, important topic because it is related the basics of this chapter is required for almost all chapters, right? So mole concept, prepare it thoroughly. Every year we used to get two, three, two questions before and now it may be increased to three questions also. Structure of atom, again important chapter, D and F block, chemical kinetics, purification of organic compounds. This was, um, this chapter you can revise little all the methods and all properly. Then amines and then solutions, okay? Now coming to low priority chapter, so if you see equilibrium and thermodynamics, okay, you can expect two to three questions from these chapters also, okay, but these are very lengthy topics. So if you haven't studied them yet, I will not recommend you to go for these topics, okay, or even if you have like, if you have time, what you have to do is you have to just revise, like you can watch some one shot videos on these topics, we'll be preparing in our channel also. So you can watch them and then you can just write the formulas and just practice like five years of questions okay previous five years questions so in case you get any question and you know them you can solve it but at this point of time it is not recommended to invest more time on these two chapters okay because they are like too lengthy and questions two three questions may be asked that can be skipped if you have done these topics properly okay next redox reaction is an easy and small chapter here you should also read little a bit about titrations this time okay then 
hello alkenes and hello arenes this is one of the easiest chapter first chapter of your organic chemistry in the second uh, pre, uh, second year so it is very easy one you can score easily every year we can like one to two questions you can easily expect from sn1 sn2 mechanisms or methods of preparation of alkenes uh, hello alkenes hello arenes electrophilic substitution and hello arenes so these all things are there now apart from this there is one another thing that is salt analysis which was mentioned specifically in the board uh, in the syllabus right here uh, we have to know certain lab things that like that you can expect one to two questions but since it is introduced this time so you can expect that easy questions may be asked from this topic and one more is there that is your um, colligative properties okay sorry colloidal solutions in colloidal solutions also some basic things you can know like what is coagulating power how what is the uh, size of the particles what are its properties these basic things we can do and we can expect small like one to two questions from these chapters right so the high priority chapters are this moderate are this and then low priority as this now coming to week wise plan so in week 1 try to finish these chapters okay periodicity chemical bonding goc hydrocarbon electrochemistry coordination compounds alcohols aldehydes mole concept structure of atom and dnf block elements okay so i'll be telling you how to study these chapters in a, like how like how much time you can dedicate to complete these chapters in a day how much time you can give so that is your week 1 plan and in the week 2 plan chemical kinetics purification amine solution these two you can skip if you haven't studied yet okay then redox reaction and halo alkenes and halo arenes clear so this is like a basic plan for week 1 and week 2 apart from this in week 1 also you should do some mock test okay and in week 2 also you have to do mock test and proper revision okay revision is very very important okay then uh, one more chapter i think it is Okay, one more chapter I had to add here. In high priority, you can also add in the biomolecules chapter. Okay. So you know biomolecules since NEET students, you have already studied biology. Like so, this is very easy chapter for you and the scoring topic also. You might be knowing everything about this topic. So just a quick revision and some pre pre uh, previous year questions of five to ten years will help you to complete this chapter easily. Okay. Fine. now how to allocate time per day okay so it is not that you have to study only chemistry you have physics also you have bio also so what i'll be suggesting is like at this point of time you must be studying around 10 to 12 hours okay i am expecting if you want if you are very serious about your exam you have some preparations so 10 to 12 hours is what minimum we can expect at this point of time where only 13 days are left for your exam so in this 10 to uh, 12 hours i'll be uh, like asking for you to give 4 to 5 hours for chemistry okay based on what based on what is like if you are very strong in chemistry you can reduce it but minimum 4 hours is required but if you haven't completed most of the portions you can extend it to 5 hours okay now how to how to divide this 4 to 5 hours you have to give 2 hours per syllabus completion means any chapters you haven't done or you are weak at or you want to revise any particular chapter 2 hours you can give for those chapters so what you have to do is first after this after you have seen this right after this uh, list is there just take a notebook now write down which all chapters of high priority is done for you like you have done done for you means you have revised this concepts so what is the meaning when i when i say a chapter is done so what do you mean when a chapter is completed you must be thorough with the concepts okay okay you must have its short notes so that in the point time of exam you can revise properly and then you would have solved its pyqs minimum 10 years okay or 5 to 10 years i'll tell okay so if these three things are done for any of the chapter mark them as complete in your notebook okay so now write down in this high priority chapters what which chapters are done for you which chapters are half done and which chapters are not done at all okay so any high priority chapters which is not done or is half done try to complete them in this 2 hours of the day okay so out of this 4 hours just dedicate 2 hours so you have 13 hours so you can like 13 days last 3 days you can leave 10 days so around 20 hours are left to complete the incomplete syllabus incomplete also first you should think about the high priority chapters if that is all done then you can see for medium weightage topics which are not done and if that is also done then you can go for low weightage topics right 
Now, out of this, suppose then you can solve questions for one hour. Okay, just practice some, just randomly you can take, okay, randomly five questions from this chapter, five questions or any mock test or any chapter wise test you have, just write down all this test question solving for one hour and then keep one hour for revision, okay, this is very important. See, exam, whatever you study doesn't matter, but if you are not able to recollect at the same point of time in the exam hall, then you're all efforts are going to be in vain, right? So that is why re uh, recollection in the time of exam is very, very important. So that is why please de de like devote one hour for revision, okay? One hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, just revise the important concepts, important formulas and everything for one hour a day, okay? So now, what is how to study physical chemistry, how to study organic chemistry and how to study inorganic chemistry. See, physical chemistry is very simple. You just have to first prepare the formula sheets, okay? Just uh, if you haven't done yet, you can see any one-shot videos, you can prepare them or if you want any particular chapter, please comment it down. We will def definitely make a formula video on those topics. So you can write down if you have any chapter, you want to recommend any chapter, you have any doubt in any particular chapter, I'll definitely make it so you can comment it down for that. So first of all, you just have to take one A4 sheet. Just remember like this, one A4 sheet for one chapter, okay? So write down all the formulas in that. You can uh, highlight it, you can make it in boxes as uh, like however you like it, that should be ready if it is not yet till now, okay? After that, revise the formula sheets, just uh, like read the formulas again and again. So uh, like when you solve questions, the formulas automatically, you remember it, right? But still, if something is left, just revise them and then solve NCRT in-text questions. This is very important from last many years. We have seen direct questions from in-text are asked, okay? No need to solve. So, I'm writing here, no need to solve exercise questions, okay? Because some of the exercise questions are like very lengthy, three to four minutes of questions are like it will take. So, you need not solve all the exercise questions. You can read certain questions you can solve okay but no need to solve all no need to solve all exercise questions okay then in text questions is important very very mandatory okay in, uh, in text questions you must solve it then solve last 10 years of pyq so this is if try to do it 10 if not at least 5 years 5 years is so without uh, solving 5 years pyqs there's no point of going and attempting the exam okay and then mark the incorrect questions for revision. So whenever you are solving, just keep a list of those questions which you are not able to solve or which you are not able to understand. So in those questions, you can revise this later whenever you want, like before the exam, you have to focus on these topics, okay? So what is there for organic chemistry? We need formula sheets. We need to revise from these formula sheets and then we need to do NCRT in-text questions and then we have to do 10 years of PYQs and we have to, this is, these two are, common for all the three subjects, okay? Now coming to strategy for inorganic chemistry. So in inorganic chemistry, read NCRT line by line. This is very, very important. Now you might be thinking that only 13 days are left. We don't have time to read NCRT line by line. But if you remember, which chapters you have to read line by line? You have to read DNF block, okay? You have to read periodicity. And you have to read uh, this one, P block. Okay. P block also just 20% you can say of the chapter is there. Okay, just the physical properties and all you have to read. So if you just devote 20 minutes a day, morning 20 minutes, evening 20 minutes and just read, just divide that like for example in DNF block the chapter has supposed 20 pages. Okay, and you can read like hardly you can read 4 to 5 pages in uh, 1 hour. So I can write in 1 hour, you can read 4 to 5 pages. Right, so for this chapter you will require four hours, okay. So just in four days you can complete, just make it as divide, manage it, break it into chunks, but read NCRT line by line, very, very important, okay. Next, highlight the points, whatever you are reading it, just like there is some things where from where questions can be asked, where exceptions are there, where important trends are there, just highlight them and then remember all the exceptions and trends so highlight and note it in a like you can write down in a paper and paste it somewhere so that you can revise it every day inorganic is nothing but rote memory okay so you have to just remember everything it is all about remembering and recollecting the more you revise the more you will be able to 
answer. Next, solve in text and exercise questions for NCRT. In text questions are also there. Then you can also solve your uh, exercise questions. Very short answers type. Just you should know some reasoning questions will be there. You need to know them. Next, we have solved last 10 years paper. This is mandatory. We cannot escape from this. So if you have don't know, uh, you don't have time, go for at least five years. Then mark the incorrect questions for revision. So those trends which you are getting wrong or which you are not able to understand, you can mark them and keep it while, while in the before in the like, like three days before the exam, you can revise only those things which you are getting wrong. Okay, now coming to the last and organic chemistry. Here also you can read NCRT line by line, but this also I will not recommend for all the chapters. Try to read uh, for GOC chapter, aldehyde chapters and alcohol chapters. These three chapters, try to read it like line by line. Uh, in that also you can like so where name reactions are there, where methods of preparations are there. Just have a one reading, okay. You have recently written board exam, so might it is not like you are completely unfamiliar with the chapter, right. You can just give a one day for all these three chapters and can finish it off. Then start with GOC. This is very, very important. If GOC is not general organic chemistry, you are not strong at. You have to face a lot of difficulties in organic chapters because the basics are not clear, right. Even if you don't know the basics, now give one hour or one day or two day and first finish it off, okay. Next, prepare. You have to have a list of name reactions. In the name reactions, you need not write the sentence and all. You have to do not have to prepare like that. You have to prepare a column, okay. Three, make three columns. Here, write down reactant. Here, write down reagent. And here, write down the product. And here, name of the reaction, okay. Mechanisms and all is not required for the NEET exam. You just need to know, for example, aldol condensation. Okay, you should know what are the products, what are the reactants and in which conditions this happens. For certain reactions, you may know the mechanism, but for most of the reactions, this will help. So prepare this and paste it and revise it regularly. Next, prepare the list of reagents. So we have many uh, reagents like C. For example, LiAlH4 is there and NaBH4 is there. Okay. We know NaBH4 can, so you can just write down the reagents and the function. It can reduce ketones and aldehydes. This can reduce ketones, aldehydes and acids. So those things you have to prepare a list, okay. Next, solve NCRT in text questions, exercise questions also you can do, okay, if you have time, but first focus is on NCRT in text questions. Next, solve last 10 year PYQs. This is very important and then mark the incorrect questions for revision, okay, okay. So this is a basic strategy and then here I want to give you some important tips that you must follow. So just focus on revision, okay, you, whatever you are studying and whatever you have still studied that you should not forget. So focus on the revision of all the high weightage topics. Then if you haven't completed any time, just plan it. How can you complete? Their target should be the high weightage topic should be completed fully, okay. Then solve chapter wise PYQs. This is very important. Practice 5 to 6 mock tests. This is the minimum you should do in 13, 14 days left. And then the last is very important. Please believe in yourself. Okay. Don't get nervous. Don't get tensed. Believe in your preparation. You have been studying. You have done hard work. Right. So definitely you will get the fruit. So just trust yourself. Trust your abilities. If the mock test results are not coming, analyze them. Try to fix them. Okay. Don't get demotivated with this. Okay. The marks and all in the mock test. Don't get demotivated at all. Just understand what type of mistakes you are doing. If you are not able to find out, talk to your teachers, talk to your friends who are preparing and then fix it, okay. So this was a uh, like two week strategies I can say for the NEET exam. So what are important topics you should focus, how you should revise, how you should study all the three, uh, uh, three parts of chemistry. So if you have any doubts, okay, and if you want any particular video, any particular help, please comment it down. I'll definitely make it. Okay. I'll be helping you in all the aspects that is possible. So just trust yourself. Okay. At this point of time, your, uh, how your mindset is, that is more important. Okay. So just trust your preparation and you'll be able to do it. And if you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel for other important updates about the exam. Thank you.